Scorpio, welcome to your mid-month read for September. What's up? What's going on? Before we get started, just want to remind folks about that special message in case you missed it that was out September 1st or last Sunday, and it was separate from the Sunday check-in. Basically, I announced that the channel Sassy Scorpion Tarot as of September 15th will be reduced to a part-time channel or partial retirement on YouTube. It's a good thing, okay? It allows me to continue on into some very important career goals in my life, but I also want to be able to kind of check in with you guys from time to time and keep in touch with you and read those collective energies, yeah? So in case you missed it, that message will be linked in the comments below. All right, let's get started. Show me Scorpio in September. Show me Scorpio. In September. What's going on? Show me Scorpio. Show me Scorpio. Like always, if it resonates, if it does not, etc., etc. What's going on? Show me Scorpio. Let's do one more. Show me Scorpio, please. Very good. The Knight of Wands, the Empress, Justice. <laughs> Ten of Wands. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Swords. Oh, good. Good job. Eight of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the Knights of Pentacles. Okay. Opening is quite powerful. Knights of Wands, the Empress Justice. I really want you to stay in that energy. Okay. It looks like we're going to need it, which is not to alarm you. It just looks like if this is where you are in an empowered state, controlled state, high functionary state, you're going to need it. Okay. Things are going to be a little rough, but it's also not unexpected, it seems. So Knights of Wands, the Empress Justice, man, mm. energy, vitality, but a sense of productivity, calm, steady hand, okay, delivery of your energies and keeping things balanced and focused. With justice there, that's wide range between spiritual balance, technical and legal balances, saying all is well, I'm the Empress, I got this. And then, you know, nice little kick, nice little energy drink, nice little shot of espresso there with the Knights of Wands. So you feel good. You seem to have a natural delivery around your energy, keeping enthusiasm, but a particular pace that says, I know what I'm doing. So it's not just random action. It's a sense of I'm in control. I know what's going on. I feel good about myself. And you know what? I feel good. Knight of Wands. Now, Ten of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, Four of Swords. You're showing me a lot of rest and contemplation after what looks like a kind of daunting, heavy something. We'll see what that Ten of Wands is about. But we're happy to report with the Wheel of Fortune, much time has passed and it seems like you have earned your rest on this particular subject. Perhaps you have dropped your bundle, whatever that is. I tell people all the time, if you're going to carry a Ten of Wands, cool. It needs to be the Ten of Wands of your choice. Okay. But yeah, after much due consideration and reflection, time has passed, so you've earned your rest. Cool. Eight of Cups, Three of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. At some point in the future, I see you slowly but surely marching on from something that you say you're no longer emotionally attached to. And so for Scorpio, that's kind of the thing, right? I'm not saying that you don't love it. I'm just saying I can no longer emotionally invest in this. It hurts. So let's continue to exit from that. All right? So I really want you to lean into and trust these principles, empowerment, and balance, and you know what's right for you, okay? Um, you've had a lot of time to rest on something that causes you a great deal of strain. Physical also is in there, and then an emotional component. And you're like, you know what? Maybe we should pack our bags on this one and exit. So I don't know what that is, but you're leaving it behind, okay? Let's start. Uh, I'm not too curious about that Knights of Wands. Natural enthusiasm, passion, just a kind of natural flow state for you. I'm more interested in the Empress. We're going to jump right in there. Show me that Empress, please. Show me that Empress. Show me the Empress, please. Yeah, one more. Let's see that Empress, please. Three of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, and Death. Okay. 
Uh, if you have Aries in your chart, check theirs out. I happen to remember that feature because it was so distinct. They had portioned off a section of their activity as well and said, bye. <laughs> you know, so there was this concept, if I remember, just because I had such a strong impression, they had such a solid foundation, possibly even wealth, but they had strictly portioned off a chunk of it. I made a little note to remind myself of that. Uh, a portion that they said, this, no, we're not doing that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and you're showing me something similar. You as the Empress, and there's your power card, our power card. Okay, that says, uh, I don't want to give to this structure anymore, whatever that Three of Pentacles is to you. It could be something in the 3D for which you join, or I should say used to join. That could be anything from like a book club, <laughs> right? To project work, to a friendship or acquaintanceship, but you're like, no. We don't give to that anymore. So it's 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 coming from an empowered state. You're saying this must be. And I don't want to connect to it. I don't want to give to it. So the three of pentacles, time, energy, effort, and also finances, those are all spendable concepts. So there's something here, time, energy, effort, or money-wise, you're just not going to. No. You went now. Next. Okay, <laughs> the empress there. We always have that little attitude. But look, since the empress is backing it, you have kind of deemed a state of importance here about justice and what should be balanced. So if you're saying that this is no good, I don't want to give this to this, excuse me, give to this anymore, then it's either not working out, that would be the simplest definition, or frankly, it just doesn't balance well. Okay. At the end of the day, you're just saying technically, legally, or spiritually, it just, it's not hitting your scales anymore. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at justice. Let's make a little note to myself. It's like, oh yeah. Let's see justice, please. Show me justice. Show me justice. Show me justice, please. Ten of swords. Two of wands. A six of swords. Yep. <clears throat> You made up your mind on this subject. It's 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 final. It's finito. We've signed off on this. Uh, for some of you, there are legal things in here in terms of paperwork, and you're like, mm -hmm. done. Done. Is there anything else I need to sign? Did I cross my teeth? Did I dot my eyes? Done. So there's there's something technical in here. It's not just the spiritual sense of I'm done. It's not balanced. It's crazy. It's whatever. No, it's there's the technical in here as well as legal. Um, you're signing off on it. You're good. You're wrapping this one up officially. <laughs> so it's just, it's amusing me because it's just, once more, it's like Scorpio is just like, here's everything or I will show you nothing. So it's, <laughs> and right now you're showcasing this is what's going on and cleaning house taking care of business and officially so congratulations i mean you're wrapping it up beautifully there's no fuss no muss, no argument uh just a kind of sense of exhaustion and i'm wanting this to be done it's time to wrap this up now we've been looking forward to it with the two of wands um contemplating it mentally looking towards it looking at this as a touchstone it's almost a relief you're not participating you're all good you squared out your particular corners and said it's all good Okay. Um, yeah, whatever this is, it's almost like I can't wait to be done with it. You know, wrapping it up. Cool. Okay. You feel balanced, you feel correct, and you feel empowered. And frankly, that's all I'm interested in. Now, let's take a look at what looks like some well overdue rest for you. Let's see that Ten of Wands. Let's see that Ten of Wands, please. So official in this one. This is what I'm doing, and I want you to know I'm doing it. And the Ten of Wands, because you know how we are, honey. We don't, unless someone's part of the process, we don't really tell anyone that we don't need to know. If you don't need to know, you don't need to know. Because if you needed to know, you know. And that's typically how we operate, <laughs> which drives other people banana sandwich, I know. But it's like, well, are you someone in my life? Are you someone of significance? Because if you're not, then you probably don't need to know. So, ten of wands, that's just how we are, honey. Some say it's a pro, some say it's a con. For most of us, it's somewhere in between. Let's see that ten of wands. Show me that ten of wands, please. 
Are you my spouse or my boss? Then I don't need to report to you. Thank you. Um, Ten of Wands. Let's see that Ten of Wands, please. King of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. There's been a lot of strain on you in regards to being a provider. The King of Pentacles is here, Two of Cups, the Knight of Swords. And it's something that you very much frequent. This is constant energy for you. Constant. It's constant. And it's done so in love. Okay? We have the King of Pentacles here who's very reassuring in this respect of contributive effort, household energy, uh, resources, monetary stuff, availability in the real world. And Two of Cups, everything you do, simply put, is done for love, for the sake of love. Uh, it keeps you very preoccupied, very busy. But what I'm seeing here is head of household energy that tends to be a little overly exerted or overly taxed. Okay? Have you done a very good job of it? Yes. Are you always on point with that Knight of Swords? Yes. Do you always uh, balance it up in the frame of mind of love and caring for myself and others? Yes. Okay? It's very simple. It's very straightforward. It's very 3D. Okay, let's see that Wheel of Fortune. And like I said, that's the Ten of Wands of your particular choosing. It's the idea of you know what you're getting into, and you can love your job or your career 90% of the time, but there's that 10% where it's just... Uh, right? All right, let's see that Wheel of Fortune, please. Time is passing. It's in motion. Let's see that Wheel of Fortune. I don't know if you have someone connected to you and you act out of love, doing your fair share, your portion. That could be in there as well. But as far as I can tell, I see that you kind of jump to an activity in the provider role and you do so out of love. Okay? For yourself and whoever's in there that benefits, you know, with that two of cups. All right? If you have a lovely partner, congratulations. It looks supportive. Or someone who appreciates or is in the receiving end of all your, your nurturing, caring, providership energies, you know? Let's see that Wheel of Fortune, please. Queen of Swords, the Lovers, and the Ace of Cups. Oh, okay. So, we're not there yet. All right. Let's back up. Let's back up on that partnership idea. <laughs> Uh, so everything that you do, you do for, it seems like, for love of yourself. And it also seems to be someone connected to you in terms of the providership role, which you've been very on point with. Uh, so this is something that just, you know, I'll tell you what, not speak of the devil. The devil's not here. Just to be clear, it's just a phrase and or expression. I was ready to say, okay, all right. Oh, never mind. Never mind. We haven't, we don't have partnership activity just yet. <laughs> seems to be coming on through at some point. <laughs> So we have the Queen of Swords, uh, the Lovers, and the Ace of Cups. My, my, my. Someone is showing determination uh, to, to break on through those clouds. Okay. It's a bit hazy. It's a bit hazy. Wow. Well, that was quite powerful. Who are you and where'd you come from? Okay. Well, Scorpio's over here dropping stuff off. This is done. This is finalized. These are finalized contracts, but I won't be participating in them anymore. Uh, I'm still rocking a providership role. You know, I'm good at it, but it exhausts me. And then boom, who are you and where'd you come from? Okay. Are you going to be a good lover? Are we going to be a bad lover? Well, we have an ace of cups attached to him. So that's lovely. It's open. It's open for business. I am seeing the prospect of peace here. Uh, someone is showing me that determination, you don't want to make good on that. Well, good for them, all right? Well, good for the both of you if you choose to take them up on it. Okay, I have to admit, when I actually have those rare elements of surprise, I will tell you. I'm mildly surprised. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see that four of swords. Some of that four of swords. It just puts you into rest, eh? Mm -hmm. Let's see that four of swords, please. Let's see that four of swords. Show me that four of swords. Oh, you needed it anyway. It looks like, you know, you work hard and you work fast and you work well. Okay. And that's done in love. Which, for water signs, this is normal. It's, we don't just work to provide. We work through love to provide. Okay. So, yeah. King of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, just, yes. Uh, which you've already showed me. You're showing me a high sense of security with your foundation, which is fantastic. 
I love that. Um, gosh, you really do have uh, some very strong fire streaks in you where there is a sense of pride. This is where my pride goes. This is where my ambition goes. This is fire's ambition too. Okay. Ambition, uh, brave face. I got this. Okay. Injustice. You reflect four sorts about your security that you seem to be doing quite well. It reassures you. It comforts you. I do see you taking some time off, which is what it looks like you need. All right. So there's a reason that you work very, very hard. All right. And there's a sense of balance in here. And I see you going inward and reflecting quietly that all is well. Why you have to reassure yourself? I don't know. You had to go within and reassure yourself real quick after uh, this lover situation just kind of popped up with a cup. And you're like, I need to reassure myself that all is well. And it's beautiful because it is all is well. You, you know, <laughs> because it all is well. You really have a strong, I abide by a particular sense of balance in this life. And I completely appreciate that. And I'm on target with it too. Uh, it's that sense of, am I good? Am I solid, technically, legally, spiritually? Am I good? And you are more than good, darling. You're solid as hell. Your sense of resources and community is extensive, very productive. You showed me I work hard for love. But when we pull back the lens, you see how far it goes. Yeah. There's a reason why you get a little taxed out, overly taxed in that Ten of Wands, yeah? So that's interesting. If, uh, if in future I don't see this pointed back to, I might have to go out of my way to look at that a little more. Um, I'm just being super curious, maybe nosy. Um, <laughs> I kind of want to know who that is. <laughs> I'm like, where'd you come from? It could be because of the Ace of Cups, but it's the lovers. So there's a soul bond energy here that suggests it could be brand new or it could be renewed. Something's coming back forward in due course or due time that's quite powerful knowing of thyself. So that means someone knows their mind and that they're choosing to show up in some way. But it immediately puts you into the, okay, am I good? Am I good? Hmm. And you do. You have so much going for you. You presented it, though, as I keep myself busy. Like that? I keep myself busy. That's what you did. I'm okay. I keep myself busy. I work hard for love, right? But look at that. What a little modest mouse you are. I don't mean that to be discouraging. It's just they're like, I know what's good for me. And I love your judgment on that. You have a wealth of activity and resources and connectivity. You know? And you find solace in it. It reassures you when you are on your own about what it all amounts to, which is quite a bit. So, who is this lover and what they have to do with it? I don't know. Let's take a look. I may not see it again. I don't know. Oh, the mysteries. Oh, the mysteries of tarot. No. Yeah. Oh, the mysteries of the collective. Let's see that Eight of Cups, please. Show me that Eight of Cups. Show me that Eight of Cups. Show me that Eight of Cups. Mm. Let's see that Eight of Cups, please. Eight of Cups for the Eight of Cups. Page of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords. Mm. Okay, going back to that Ten of Swords over here, the thing that you kind of legally signed off on and said, don't expect me to participate anymore. Thank you. Because uh, <laughs> it, it's not, you know what, I was thinking about it, it's not good for me. And I really don't want to put any more time, energy, and effort into this. So, thanks. Yeah. Uh, you, you, just to let you know, where you, if you were curious about that, you're good. You completely emotionally detach from it. You're good. You're good. You're not invested in this anymore. So for Scorpio, that's kind of a big deal because of our our big old cup there with the Ace of Cups. We tend to emotionally invest in stuff. And if it works, great. We have proof of results in 3D. And if we don't, we have to learn the hard way to emotionally detach from it. You know, And that process is complete for whatever it is that's ended. So for those of you who are wondering, might have felt maybe... I don't know, momentary glimpses of guilt or uncertainty. No, nah. no, nah. you got it. You're fine. 
Okay? You keep on walking. Uh, you don't need to emotionally invest in that anymore. It's done. Cool. All right. Let's see that three of swords. Show me that three of swords. Show me that three of swords. Show me that three of swords, please. Three of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. I see you clearing up the truth with somebody, whatever that means. Whatever that means. I see you clearing up the truth, and it feels good. Something's been corrected, or something will be corrected in future with somebody. Um, there's, a, there's some old pain. These are old wounds. They're not fresh, like the Four of Cups would suggest, and um, they're not haunting memories, like the Five of Cups would suggest. So it's, it's just old. It's just old. It doesn't hit like it used to. Let's put it that way. Uh, that Three of Swords causes minimal damage to you. Okay. And apparently to someone else. I see you connecting with somebody and uh, some truth is going to get sorted there. Three of Cups, the Six of Pentacles. I can only assume that it's this kind of powerful, unexpected, I admit, somebody that pops up on your dang radar and they say, I got to be here. I, I don't know. That's the only other thing I can I can possibly conceive of because the aces are attached to it. But it suggests, uh, let's clear up some stuff. And it's done so in a very simple way. Three of cups, six of pentacles. That can be achieved literally with anybody anywhere. So it's not too demanding. Um, but there's a lot of truth. And it's a helpful truth. It's a healthy truth. And it's good. It's overriding the old pain. And that means you'll have an energy shift if you choose to connect with this. Um, as new information comes to surface, we have the possibility of connecting, reconnecting, and working through some stuff. Okay, these two folks. Mind you, the distinct marker here seems to be after we are understanding, we are fully emotionally disconnected from this, disengaged. Okay. Well, perhaps you have a little more space now. You know? Perhaps a little more space in here to connect with this. You couldn't before. Who knows? But yeah, we have some lovely things being cleared up. Good job. With you and whomever. That's wonderful. The Knight of Pentacles. Let's see that Knight of Pentacles. Show me that Knight of Pentacles. I always like it when people work their shit out. It looks so simple because I'm putting down cards. I know. I know. But it, nevertheless, it makes me happy. It makes me pleased. Life is just too short. It's too short to hold grudges or to hold our words back and crap like that. Life is just too short, you know. It is. Let's see that nice pencils. Chariot, the four of pentacles, and the five of wands. Okay, I see you kind of staunchly moving forward in a particular direction, and there's one thing that you're saying you won't do is that you will not engage in any arguments. You won't you won't hear it. You won't, and it's particularly mind you in reference to your path moving forward. You're getting some kickback about that, and you're refusing to engage in it. You're refusing to. I don't blame you. It's why is it when we're on our own path, it doesn't matter how slow it is or how fast it is, how well thought out it is, and how well intended it is. The fact of the matter is not everybody's going to agree with what you're doing and why you're doing it. I don't see that anger. Let me, to be clear, you're showing me different segments today, which is cool. I love different segments because that tells me you have a busy couple of weeks <laughs> and you're not just fixated on one thing. So you showed me some beautiful segments today. You're a little bit here, you're a little bit there, and that's fine because you know what you're doing. And that being true, going back to the point, so long as you know what you're doing, don't, don't, there's always going to be people who disapprove. Okay. Disapproval are, are like pennies, honey. Pennies. They're common, they're frequent, but when you add them up, let's say you have 10 disapproval, it's still 10 cents. You know, it's, um, um, just don't, just don't, just don't, 
Just don't. You just keep on doing you, whatever that is, because obviously you're the one with the successful foundation. I trust your efforts and endeavors, none of the people's backbiting opinions and disagreeable bullshit. Okay, opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one. The ones you listen to actually have say in your life, which is why I see you stopping and talking to this person to resolve things, because the opinion for this person in between you two actually matters. I see you absorbing it, and it actually helps you move forward. This are a lot of objections once you get back in your vehicle and you're like, I'm in this direction now. I'd be like, Scorpio, no, don't go that way. We disapprove. I'm sorry. Who's the empress here? Who's the one with the stellar foundation? Excuse me if I trust my own judgment. You know, I'm sorry. I have no idea where that came from, but it's not this. I do believe, however, this portion is tied to this. How that introduces itself, I don't know. It's powerful or reintroduces itself. I, I have not a clue, but once it pops up, we start to work through some technicalities with it, but it feels good. It feels good. It's manageable. I like how you showed me. Well, I'm done with that. Going back to here. So this portion, this portion, you reflect on you. Opposition as you move forward. It's to be expected in some, it's unfortunate though. People don't want you to leave. They don't want you to move on. They don't want you to move forward. Once more, it's not this. This one is supportive. And it seems to lend to some reflection for you, Ace of Swords. That might even help you feel propelled to move forward. Okay? It's good. People who have our best interests at heart support our movements and direction. They don't oppose it. So just to be clear, I don't know who's embracing such a stink, but it's lots of voices and they're not supportive. I've already given you my thoughts. Okay, I like yours. You just had multiple little points and segments in it. I like that. That's cool. That's cool. Love it. The flowers, romance, and the sweetness. Yeah, at some point. Here, with that big old beautiful cup. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then also possibly over here, because it looks largely supportive. New information is coming to light, and it kind of puts you both in a place of balance and or peace with each other. Like I said, that's fantastic. Um, lowering of the guardedness, I don't quite know, but it's, it's a softer. It's very soft. It's soft. Somebody's associated with flowers, but yeah, it's soft. It's, it's nice. It's sweet. It's supporting. It's, lo it's, it's loyal, too. Loyalty. Determination. There's that determination again. Loyalty, determination, dog. Dog with a rose. See? Okay. There is a sense of loyalty here. And determination. There it is. It's beautiful. It's very consistent. And old man. That's not meant to be rude or disparaging. Um, old man, It's it could be anything. Like the other day, somebody showed me a wild contrast between a old woman in reverse and old man in the upright. It just depends on the reading, the context, and how they appear. So here I have what could be what you might call a demographic difference. Um, let's say perhaps there's an age difference between these two folks. Perhaps you identify as the old man, perhaps somebody else does. But there's that sense of uh, priority, inheritance, land. I must continue to cultivate. This is my job. This is my lot. Um, this is up to me. This is my inheritance. And frankly, just as male. Okay. Uh, so here it's just a distinguishing characteristic as far as I can tell. But it uh, stands true for somebody. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, working that inheritance, that earth, providing to the earth, playfulness, cooperation, the dolphins. Yeah, it's in the reverse. And by that, I mean lack of cooperation from someone else. Like I said, this is supportive. And it speaks, and it influences, and it's sweet. Over here on your way out, doing whatever it is you're doing on your new path or continuing a path, I have no idea. That's when you get hit with the lack of cooperation and it's not friendly and it's not fun and it doesn't support. Okay. That's too many loud voices in there. Oh, what a stink. Don't you hate that? Don't you hate that? Okay. Like, just to give you an idea, from my own point of view, 
making the announcement I did, I know I'm going to get kicked back. I am moving in a particular direction. I've planned it out and taking my time, but with the sincerity of motion of getting it going, I know I'm going to be met with a great deal of resistance. You know, anger, frustration, how could you, that kind of thing, without people appreciating my points of view. Everybody's going to raise voices. Some will be positive, many will be negative. My job is to refrain. It's like I say all the time, you get to choose to love participation. Why would I choose to participate in that? I know what's best for me. Much like you did on your opening. Okay? My job is to ignore it and to continue to move it forward. Okay, yeah. Attuned to the divine new moon in Pisces. That's very fitting. Know yourself and know yourself well. Tune in with yourself often. Check in with yourself. Absolutely, I agree with that. What's interesting, though, is that that influx of energy here puts you in a restful stage of, am I good? I'm solid, right? I'm solid. There's something about that energy that supportive puts you in a state of reflection, how far you've come, this kind of thing. Yes. <laughs> cool your emotions, full moon in Aries. <laughs> like I said, if you have Aries in your chart, step up and lead new moon in Capricorn. I know, you got to do what you got to do, honey. Scorpio's got to do what Scorpio's got to do. I know. All right. Yeah. Nostalgia memories, the sweetness of that six of cups. Which I didn't see here today, but I did see the lovers. Perhaps, like I said, we know this. We know this person. Reflection too. That's what I'm saying. They make you reflect. They make you reflect. It's a good influence. It does. It shows up well. For some of you, you've been making a lot of strides and or efforts. And I'm saying this specifically over here in terms of letting things go and carving out specific portions to do away with. For some of you, started in spring. Okay. Uh, open up. Yeah, there's someone here it seems like it's safe to talk to. It's supportive once more. It helps clear up some information and the balance is, and this is someone you can listen to and incorporate advice. Others, not so much. This is someone we can open up towards. They're making it very clear to distinguish between the voices versus one voice that would actually be good to listen to. I don't know why it comes through so powerfully as it does. It just seems like it was a matter of time or was supposed to be at that time. Okay, and I don't know what that is, but it seems what you would call soon. Patience, there will be time to celebrate. Okay, celebration here in context at Three of Cups. This is more or less the equivalent of connectivity, but with patience. Open up, time to celebrate, yes, yes. It is a time, and I agree. Whatever this is that you are transforming or transitioning from, one door closes, another opens, as we discussed. Therefore, endings should always be celebrated because they open up and lead to other things. You have to do what's right for you. Okay. No charms today. Scorpio, honey, I hope this helped you. Put it in the comments. Take care. Be well.